in the United States surpassed 30 million cases of COVID-19. CDC's most recent data show that the seven-day average of new cases is slightly less than 60,000 cases per day. This is a 10% increase compared to the prior seven-day period. Hospitalizations have also increased. The most recent seven-day average, about 4,800 admissions per day, is up from 4,600 admissions per day in the prior seven-day period. And deaths, which typically lag behind cases and hospitalizations, have now started to rise, increasing nearly 3% to a seven-day average of approximately 1,000 deaths per day. When I first started at CDC about two months ago, I made a promise to you. I would tell you the truth, even if it was not the news we wanted to hear. Now is one of those times when I have to share the truth and I have to hope and trust you will listen. I'm gonna pause here, I'm gonna lose the script, and I'm gonna reflect on the recurring feeling I have of impending view. We have so much to look forward to, so much promise and potential of where we are, and so much reason for hope, but right now I'm scared. Three historic, so I'm speaking Okay, first and foremost, I was going to give all praise to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Bahashem Rakat Kadash. You know, shalom to your elders and the apostles of GMS that do really well. Peace, love, hope to these, you know, salutations to the hopeful elect that's scattered across the four corners of the earth. All right. I had just came across this video and I was watching it. And as I was watching it, I was saying that, man, this place is really done. You know, this 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 place is, is really done. And it was one scripture that just popped up in my head as I was sitting watching this because we all know the times that we're living in and as I was watching it all I could think about was first Thessalonians okay this is first Thessalonians chapter 5 on down but the times and the seasons brethren you have no need that I write unto you for you yourself know if that the day of the Lord so come as a thief in the night. All right. And these people is not ready for what's about to come. These people is not preparing themselves for what it is that Yahweh Bashim is about to do to this place. Okay. Because y'all think things is about to go back to normal. But uh-uh. This is the reality of verse 3. But when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction shall come upon them as travail upon a woman with a child and they shall not escape. Okay? So y'all, you Jakes out there, you know, you Israelites out there that thought y'all was going to get back to clubbing and shaking y'all ass and all that. All that's about to die off with, man. Y'all about to shout out about to destroy this fucking place. And these heathens, they, they, man, these doubles, man, they know it. They know it. So they about to come through strong with their agenda. They about to push it out on a, on, on, on a high level. You know, so call her law, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Call law stands for all praise. Okay? Because Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh is going to help a lot of individuals that hearken unto him, the elect. The elect that hearken unto the words Yahweh Bashim Yahweh are going to be good. Be safe. All right? From the destruction to come. But two thirds, man. Rather, that was scripted with the one from CDC was saying or not. You know? Whether it was written, you know, whether it was a fear of tactic. At the end of the day, this place is still done. Okay? And I guess they know, they can sense they had but a short time. So they got to hurry up and go through with their agenda. Okay? And I'm going to read verse 4. And I'm going to end it. But ye brethren are not in darkness. Okay? We have the truth. Alright? Our minds is not dark anymore. You know, we, we, we're not going by these philosophies and things that's going on in this world. We have the truth. We're in the light. But that that day shall overtake you as a, uh, as a thief. Okay? That day, what, the day of the Lord, when, when, when Yahweh Shah comes back, we're not going to be overtaken. Why? Because we hearken and we, we're patiently waiting. We, we see the signs. We see that they know they have but a short time. So they're going to do all everything they have to do. All right. So call Allah Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. It was just on my mind. I spread as I was sitting and just watching the video. I'm like, man, this place, this, this place is done. All right. And they're about to very, very soon show you them horns, man. All right. Shalom.